Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And shit, I'm quite surprised. Quite surprised to see this. Johnny Blaze rides into the next era of Ghost Rider in the new ongoing comic series by Benjamin Percy and Corey Smith. Ghost Rider number one arrives in February. Okay. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty interesting because Ghost Rider... Basically, he's been looking whack as fuck with the one with the one Ghost Rider that fucking rides around in the car. To be honest, I never liked that motherfucker anyhow. So I'm glad that he's gone and they're bringing back Johnny Blaze the way it's always supposed to have been. The next year marks the 50th anniversary of one of the most iconic characters in comics, Ghost Rider. To celebrate this milestone, Johnny Blaze, the original Ghost Rider, will be returning this February in an all-new ongoing series written by Benjamin Percy with art by Corey Smith. All right, Ghost Rider 50th anniversary. Looks pretty dope. I'll give him that. Yup, looks exactly like the Ghost Rider I've always known and loved. Known for his thrilling work on the titles such as Wolverine and X-Force, Percy will put his own devilish spin on the Ghost Rider mythos, invoking all new frightening elements of Ghost Rider's most classic stories while driving the spirit of vengeance towards a new age. And Corey Smith, known for his brutally beautiful artwork on titles such as Conan the Barbarian, is eager to bring in the scorching action and hellish horror that only Ghost Rider can deliver. Together, this team of creators are hellbound to make this Ghost Rider's most explosive era yet. Okay. All right. The art looks good. But I've never read any of the of the titles as far as uh, Wolverine and X-Force. So as far as what Percy can bring to it, we have yet to see because I don't know any of his work. But Johnny Blaze has the perfect life, a wife and two kids, a job at an auto repair shop, and a small town community that supports him. But Johnny isn't doing well. He has nightmares of monsters when he sleeps and he sees bloody visions when he's awake. This life is beginning to feel like a prison and there's a spirit in him that's begging to break out. Here's what Percy has to say about taking these reins. I'm a horror head. I grew up reading Stephen King, watching John Carpenter and listening to Black Sabbath. And when it comes down to comics, I always reach for the dark and weird, which means I read a hell of a lot of Ghost Rider. That flaming skull, that spike leather jacket, that monstrous bike coughing out clouds of sulfurous exhaust. To this day, the sight of the character blazing along the midnight highway makes my heart rev like a four-stoke engine. Yeah, man, fucking Ghost Rider's badass. He is badass. Love Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's arguably the best design, but inarguably the most heavy metal character in all of comics. I'm not too sure about that, because if you want to throw Lobo in there, <laughs> yeah, that might be a different story, but, you know, potato potatoes, right? It would be badass to write this series at any point in my life, but launching the 50th anniversary feels especially unholy. Corey Smith is killing it on the art, and we're going to honor the past while burning rubber into a terrifying future packed with mystery, action, and shadow-soaked emotion. Prepare yourself for the ultimate in road horror. I'm incredibly excited to be riding shotgun with Ben Percy as we bring Ghost Rider Screaming into his 50th anniversary, Smith added. As a comic book nerd and a horror nerd, Ghost Rider has always been a favorite of mine, so this project is a dream come true. Johnny Blaze, the spirit of vengeance is back. We're firing on all cylinders and I can't wait for everyone to see the hellfire we're bringing. It's about to get crazy. Start your engines and be there when Ghost Rider number one hits stands in February. So we're getting Ghost Rider number one, starting his 50th anniversary, bringing Johnny Blaze back into the fold. All that's cool. One thing I've always wondered about Ghost Rider since the 90s is what the fuck happened to Vengeance? Vengeance, you guys that never heard of him, he's basically to Ghost Rider what Venom is to Spider-Man. He looks like a, like a roided up version of Ghost Rider. He showed up for a little bit, maybe for a good few months to a year from what I remembered back in the 90s, and then he disappeared. For all you guys that have never seen Vengeance, this is what he looks like. Not sure what happened to his character. He came and he, and he, and he was gone, and that was it. Now, to be honest, 
with his 50th anniversary, I hope that they bring vengeance back. To me, he was cool, badass fucking villain, and he came and left just like the wind. So, you know, being an old Ghost Rider fan, hoping that we see vengeance, but it's good to know that Ghost Rider, basically Johnny Blaze, is back for Ghost Rider number one, 50th anniversary. So you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.